Today I will be sharing my views on which system you should start collecting right now, so please stay tuned. Well, before we start, I would like to say that this is just my opinion, which means I can be totally wrong, so please don't take my words as a sure thing. To be honest, I feel that there are three systems with great potential for collecting right now, and that you can start collecting right now, paying a lower price for games that probably will have a good value in around 10 years. I'm trying to collect for two of the three systems I will be talking about. I also would like to mention that I collect games to keep them, to play them, not to have... I don't have in mind to sell them after some years when they gain some value. So with this all being clear, let's start talking about the systems. The first one for me is the PS Vita. The PS Vita is a very special system to me. I bought it last year, so 2016, but quickly fell in love with the system and quickly start buying many games in second hand for a good price. The reasons I feel that collecting for the PS Vita is a good idea are, as I said, you can get many games for a good price in a second hand. I have been able to buy PS Vita games for around 15 bucks, so I would say it's a good price. You will find many good games that you will not find in another platform. I, for instance, discovered many game novels that exist only in the PS Vita and they are great. Also some good RPGs from small companies that are also very good. You can find also uh, AAA games like The Uncharted, Golden Abysses, obviously, Metal Gear Solid, The Final Fantasy and many more titles. Since the hardware stopped being sold in Europe in the, in the US, the market of, for these games are limited and lower numbers of games are printed. printed meaning that in the future will be difficult to get any of these games. So I'm betting that the prices will rise in a few years. The second system from this list, it's the Wii U. Why the Wii U? It has a lower number of consoles being sold. Games are not expensive at the moment. It's easy to finish a complete collection due to the lower number of released games. So it's fairly easy to get a complete set of games for, for the system. In, even if there is less games released for the console, the uh, Wii U has an awesome library. So every single game released for the Wii U deserves to be played. So that also for me, it gives, it gives value to, to the collect, co collecting bit. Being Nintendo, it means that the price of the game will most probably increase in value. Which means that you probably in a few years could resell your collection, your collection if you feel like it. Obviously, as I said, that's not my point, but you could do it. Um, and that's the Wii U. Uh, before we move to the third and last system, I would like just to, to point out that I do not collect to the Wii U but I'm really thinking to start to start collecting because I see that, as I explained right now, it can be a good system to collect and I haven't played any games from the Wii U, so that's that. And well, the third system that you should start collecting right now is the Nintendo DS slash the 3DS. From the three systems, the, uh, from the three systems we talked about, the 3DS is by far the one that sold more and has more games available. And if you combine the collection coming from the DS with the 3DS, these numbers become immense, huge, which, mean, which means aiming for a complex set it's quite difficult. Uh, I would applaud someone that would be able to do it in uh, fairly quick. But uh, it's a good system to collect since games are fairly cheap, even if some games with a limit release number can be are already expensive, but overall the games are cheap. I feel that in some years the game will, some of these games will be very difficult to get, 
so hurry up guys uh, another thing that makes me want to collect and that's one of the reasons I collect for the 3DS it's there are lots of good RPGs to collect uh, for the system with great stories and that's for me that for me it's a huge plus and a good example uh, about this it's Atlas Atlas has so many game release but with a lower print run so some of them are quite difficult to get but almost every single one of them are good and deserve to be played so uh, again I feel that in, in some years it will be quite difficult to get some of these games and again as I referred before being Nintendo it, it probably means that the prices of the game will get a bigger value in, in some time well I think I covered almost all the topics that I wanted to talk about. And how about you guys? Do you agree with my views? Uh, I would be pleased if you would share your opinion in the comment se section below. Have a great day and see you next time. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like.